John Alzheimer is known as one of our nation's most recognized credit experts. Having worked for 28 years in the credit industry, John has become one of the most prolific speakers about credit and the go-to authority on answers to credit-related questions. Credit Countdown with John Alzheimer. Hey there, John Alzheimer here. I hope you're having a nice day. I'm headed to the gym, which means I've got a little bit of time to crank out a video or two for you. Today, I'm doing one of my favorite things. I'm answering a viewer question. I love viewer questions. They absolutely make their way to me. So please don't think that if you drop a question in the comment section below that I don't see it, because I do. I get a lot of my ideas for future videos by the questions that you ask. And so if you have a question, drop them in the section below and uh, it may end up being a future video just like this one. So today I am in fact answering a viewer question. It's actually very specific. So it, it, what that means to me is that someone probably something saw something on the internet, perhaps another video or a blog or something in one of these chat rooms or whatnot about a very specific and precise issue with respect to credit scoring. And so the question that I got this time is, are authorized user trade lines still effective in FICO 10 and FICO 10T? And then the consumer or the person went on to ask, you know, that, or suggest that they saw something somewhere indicating that authorized user trade lines might not be considered in FICO 10 and FICO 10T. All right, so first off, what in the world is FICO 10 and 10T? That's important to establish that since the question is specific to those credit scores. So FICO obviously is a company, Fair Isaac, they're my former employer, so I know a lot of this because I used to work there. FICO is generally credited with inventing the credit score as we know it today. They've been around since the 1950s. Credit scores have been available from the credit bureaus since 1989 when Equifax introduced the first credit bureau based scoring system built by FICO. Back then it was called Beacon like a beacon of light, but today it is just known as FICO 5, FICO 8, FICO 9, etc. So FICO 10 is the most current generation of the FICO score. So if you see things online about FICO 8, FICO 9, FICO 10 is the next version. So it's not anything exotic other than the fact that it's just the, the most current version of the FICO score. Authorized users obviously are consumers who are added to pre-existing credit card accounts belonging to someone else, normally a spouse or a friend or something like that, uh, helping them to build credit. That's how I built credit. My dad added me as an authorized user to one of his credit cards and that's how I established credit. So the question is, is, is there some sort of logic in FICO 10 that somehow either ignores authorized users or otherwise doesn't consider them? The answer to the question is no. FICO 10, just like all of the other FICO score generations, do in fact see authorized user trade lines and do in fact consider them. Now, FICO's scoring systems, and this is no secret, FICO's scoring systems have been adjusted over time to attempt to minimize the influence of authorized users if FICO's scores consider that authorized user to be somehow invalid or an attempt to game the system. But as we are watching this video today, FICO 10 and FICO 10T will see authorized user trade lines and will consider them. So what does that mean to you? Going through a bumpy patch, I have to hold my phone. Atlanta roads are junk. What that means is if you have an authorized user account on your credit report, then there's a possibility that that can cause you to qualify for a score, have a higher score, or have a lower score. Yes, you can have a lower score because of an authorized user trade line. If you're added as an authorized user on an account and that account goes past due or the primary card holder and you as the authorized user max out the card by overuse, then obviously, you know, the value of an authorized user account cuts both ways. It can help your credit score, it can lower your credit score, or it can be neutral, meaning it can have no influence at all on your credit score. So that's that's a pretty common issue with respect to almost everything on your credit report. It can help in some scenarios, it can hurt in some scenarios, in other scenarios it's neutral. And by the way, FICO 10 and 10T are so new that it's going to be a very, very long time, if ever, that FICO 10 has critical mass of users. So the predecessor versions, FICO 8 and FICO 9, are in fact more commonly used 
than FICO 10 is being used. So just be aware that this isn't some model that now every single lender is using. It's a good one, don't get me wrong, it's a hell of a model, but it's not the one that has critical mass of users. So again, if you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day. For more videos and credit tips from John Olsheimer, go to www.tradelinesupply.com.